This Interact Educational Resource describes the dynamics of permafrost in the tundra, where warming is twice as fast as the global average. Permafrost is any substance in the ground that remains frozen for two or more years. In summer, if we dig down in the tundra, we see the top layer of soil is not frozen and supports vegetation, but the layer beneath is still frozen. This is the permafrost, which may contain ice lenses. Below that is unfrozen soil or bedrock. In autumn and early winter, the active layer starts to freeze, both from the bottom upwards and from the top downwards. During winter, when the snow arrives, both active layer and permafrost are frozen. However, at the soil surface there are often freeze-thaw cycles and heaving upwards of the soil surface that produce cracks in which ice wedges may form. These cracks are described in another educational resource. In a stable climate, the seasonal cycle of active layer freezing and thawing continues for decades or even hundreds of years. You can follow this cycle again. Spring, the active layer is thawing out, vegetation develops. In late summer, as we move into autumn and early winter, then two-sided freezing occurs, the snow comes, the soil surface heaves up and down as it freezes and thaws, the spring thaw, this high summer with a totally thawed active layer, autumn winter again when freezing of the active layer takes place again, and so on. In a period of climate warming, the stable seasonal pattern breaks down. The air warms and then the soil warms. The active layer begins to increase in thickness as the surface of the permafrost thaws and its ice lenses melt. As the ice lenses melt and the permafrost thaws, the soil surface in the active layer subsides and creates a, a depression or hollow. In this changed land surface, the patterns of plant change with mosses in the wet hollows and lichens on the dry mounds. As the climate warms further, plants with deep roots such as shrubs can grow. As more permafrost thaws, subsidence increases and ponds may develop in the wet hollows. These ponds are called thermocast ponds. In some instances, permafrost thaw and pond formation are very rapid following a collapse of the ground surface. New plants grow, such as cotton grass, at the edges of the ponds. As permafrost continues to thaw, its former continuous cover becomes broken and the permafrost is now called discontinuous, as it only occurs in patches. Eventually, even these patches will thaw and there will be no permafrost in this area. In some areas of the Arctic that recently had continuous permafrost, we now have discontinuous permafrost. And in some areas at the edge of the Arctic where we had discontinuous permafrost, the permafrost has now gone.